Good afternoon. I thank you for the opportunity to speak to you on this important subject today. My name is Paul Danielson, and I'm appearing today on behalf of the Danielson Law Firm. We represent potential applicants who may be applying for medical marijuana licenses from the Medical Marijuana Commission. Our clients are firmly committed to providing the best care possible to medical marijuana patients within the state. As part of this commitment, they are determined to provide affordable treatment for all patients in need, regardless of their financial status. This is especially important considering that the patients most in need of treatment are often the least able to afford it. The best way to address this is by offering discounted medical marijuana products to those who can demonstrate genuine financial difficulty. It seems that the Medical Marijuana Commission agrees. Section 49C of the draft application rules from the Commission state that, quote, any proposed compassionate care plan to be implemented by the cultivation facility, unquote, may be considered as of merit criterion in the application process for cultivation facilities. Similarly, Section 58A32 of the draft application rules state that, quote, any proposed compassionate care plan to be implemented by the dispensary, unquote, is a factor that the Commission may evaluate in the dispensary application process. While the compassionate care plan is not defined, this term normally refers to a financial discount plan for those facing economic hardship and demonstrable need for treatment. Our clients would like to provide such a plan to their patients. Unfortunately, in the draft oversight rules from the Alcohol Beverage Control Division, Rule 17.1b6 prohibits the use of, quote, any coupons, comma, rebates, or promotions for medical marijuana purchases, unquote. It seems or appears that the proposed rules from the Medical Marijuana Commission might conflict with this proposed rule from the Alcohol Beverage Control Division. In the former, the applicants are encouraged to have a compassionate care plan. In the latter, one is arguably prohibited from having a compassionate care plan. Our client's mission is to provide the best possible treatment to patients at prices they can afford. To help us achieve this objective, we respectfully request that either the Alcohol Beverage Division amend its prohibition on discounts to allow compassionate care plans which provide discounts to those patients who demonstrate genuine financial hardship, or that the division provide guidance clarifying that such compassionate care plans are allowed. I also have some concern about the protection of the personal and financial information for applicants. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. Mr. Thank you.